Hi guys, welcome to this new video. Today we're going to be solving the next exercise. It says, a rectangle has a perimeter of 20 meters. Express the area of the rectangle as a function of the length of one of its sides. So, we need to find the area of the rectangle. And first, I always like to draw my figure first. So this is a rectangle and we know that it has a base, which I'm going to call it X and height, which I'm calling H, but you can call it whatever name you want it. So the formula of the area is, is base times height, which in this case we have base, well, I'm going to call it base B. Yes, so we have B plus height. But they are asking us to give it as the function of the length of one of its sides. In this case, we have two of its sides. We have B and H. And we need to give the solution only with B or only with H. Only with one letter. So... In this type of exercises, they always give us like a hint that we need to use, which in this case is this one. A rectangle has peri perimeter of 20 meters. So we have one important information. Perimeter is 20 meters. Perimeter is the sum of all of its sides. So I know that this side is also called H. And also, I know that this size is also B because they are parallels. Um, the rectangle has two sides equals and the other two sides are the same. So, I know that perimeter is equals equal 20. And I'm going to do my operation. Perimeter is the sum of all of its sides. So, first I have the base. I have the other base plus the age of the left side plus the age of the right side. I'm just cal uh, calculating the perimeter. I'm going to assume this. B plus B equals 2B plus H plus up. This is like if you had a 1. 1H one plus 1H that gives us 2H. And I know that the perimeter is 20. Look, I'm going to put it in blue. So I can put here 20 and not the P. 20 equals 2P plus 2H. And they are asking us for a function of the length of one of its size. So I need to find a... It doesn't matter if it's H or B. In this case, I'm going to choose P, but it's the same if you, if you choose H. So... No, I'm going to find, yes, I'm going to find B. So this is positive. I'm going to pass it to the other side of the equation as negative 20 minus 2H equals 2B, 2 times B, because this is multiplication. And now I know that this 2 is multiplying, so I can pass it to the other side of the equation as a divide. So 20 divided to minus 2h divided 2. This equals b. So this now is this 2. So 20 divided 2, that give, gives me 10. Minus 2 divided 2, that is 1h. So 1h or only h. This equals b. I'm just solving what I have. Now I have important information. I know that B is 10 minus H. So I'm going to put it right here. B equals 10 minus H. And H is H. I just need to replace in this formula. So I only have one letter. In this case, I will only have the H, not the B. So I'm going to delete this to have like more space and you can understand better. But, okay, I know that the area is that the one that they are asking me, the area of the rectangle is 
base plus uh, multiply height, sorry, the height. Area equals base, but I know that the base is 10 minus h, so 10 minus h times h. So times h gives me this. And now I just have to multiply the things that I have because I need to give my response in one line. So 10 plus h, I mean not plus, 10 multiply h, sorry, is 10 h minus 10 minus h times h, that is h times h. And this is 10 h minus h times h, this is h squared. It is important for us to understand that this is a square. So this is the first answer. I need to give also the domain, but the answer only have one letter. Look, only have h and h. So it's right because they are asking us for a function of the length of one of its size. That's why this wasn't good. The one that says a equals b plus a b multiply h because I only needed b or h. In this case, I give h and h. So the domain, they are also asking me that in the in this problem, it's the next one. L is between, I mean, the domain is h is between 0 and 10. This is the response. So I hope you understand. I hope you like it. If you like this video, you can subscribe. You will help me a lot with that. You can comment. You can follow me on Instagram. This is the exercise in the English version. I always have all my exercise in Spanish, but um. I'm trying to make my, my channel more international, so I really hope you like it. Subscribe, like, and thank you. See you in the next video.